Here's the outrage of the day. If this doesn't piss you off, I don't think anything will, unless you think our medical system is doing a good job. Hi, I'm Keith. I'm a seven-year cancer survivor. I've studied over 4,000 clinical papers on the root cause of chronic disease, and I've reversed all five of mine. How about you? I think you can do it too. If you weren't born with it, I'm convinced you can reverse it. If you want to make some small health tweaks, click like and follow, and I'll share science-based strategies to get you feeling better. If you want to make some more major changes and you don't want to be a burden to yourself or to others, DM or get on my calendar. I'll work one-on-one -on -one with you and teach you everything I know. Ready? Let's dive in. Don't get me wrong. If I needed heart surgery, I'm not going to Somalia anytime soon. I'd be right here in the United States. Our acute care system is top notch. But what about chronic disease prevention and care? I think we're one of the worst. The statistics speak for themselves. In the early 1900s, about 10% of people died from chronic disease. That number today is closer to 80%. That, my friends, is a complete failure. I'll tell you where the problems originated, but first let me tell you why the problem still exists. Government organizations, HHS, Health and Human Services, give me a break. FDA, Food and Drug Administration, no food, just drugs. And the USDA, we have more chemicals and preservatives and pesticides in our food than any other country on the planet. Complete failures. I want you to Google something called the Flexner Report, F-L-E-X-N-E-R. It was commissioned by the Rockefellers and the Carnegies. It's very interesting. The report institutionalized medical care to focus almost 100% on drugs and medication. And they actually denied funding and grants to any medical school that taught anything to do with natural remedies or healing like, I don't know, diet and exercise. One of the implications that still exists from that report from 1910, just look at what doctors are trained in when they go to medical school. They receive about three hours worth of training on nutrition. If you like these videos, please like and share, and we'll see you again soon.